Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, I'm going to be unboxing what's inside this beautiful white box here. And as you can tell from the writing, the logo, and here, um, that it's going to be from Remova. And so, yeah, with all that being said, I'm trying to think if I need any other introduction or thing to tell you guys, you can let me know, guess down below what it is, what color it is, and also let me know if you have one of these items. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And let's get right into the video. This is the item that I am unboxing for you guys, showing you guys backstory. As always, I talk way too much, I know, and if you're watching my videos, then you know that as well. I have slowly started a Remova luggage suitcase collection. I don't have that much. I have two pieces, which for me is a step in the right direction because I would like to have, I would say three max four. I would like to have a size that is, how do you say, available for everything. So I want, I have my cabin bag in the Asor blue. I will link all of the videos up above and down below in the description box if you guys want to check them out where I maybe go into a little bit more detail about the bags. I show what fits inside. I mean, I hope I've posted my um, luggage video. If not, then it's coming. Just check back on my channel in like a week or two and it'll be uploaded. Um, but I also have the check-in essential large size. I would like to add a check-in M or maybe a trunk, one of those. I haven't decided yet what I would prefer. And I wanted also on top of those like choices, I wanted to add a personal accessory item from Remova as well. They have, I think a backpack, they have like a normal tote bag and a few crossbody smaller type bags. So as you can tell from this little box, it's not a tote bag and it's not a bag. I mean, it could be a backpack, but it's, it's not a backpack either. And yeah, that's what this purchase was. The reason that I call this the most ridiculous purchase of 2023 combined with 2022 is the price point of this bag. I paid more money for this little bag than I did for my whole piece of luggage. Not both of them combined, but with my largest piece of luggage, which was expensive, I still paid more for this tiny thing right here. You pull it out like this. I'm doing this on purpose so you guys can't see the color, see what it is yet. Um, this is the little tag for it, the Remova tag on it. And this is my brand new Remova personal crossbody and the polycarbonate in a sore blue. Y'all, that's also why I tried to wear this top because I feel like it matches in some capacity. I haven't even opened the strap yet. I haven't tried out the dust bag yet. It comes with a little dust bag, you guys. This is so freaking cute. And it's a Remova dust bag. When you purchase a Remova um, suitcase, you also get a dust bag for your suitcase, pe suitcase pieces. Um, and this one is so cute, my gosh. It's, oh, it's really actually decent quality. You know, I'm not, I'm not looking at Remova for their dust bags for a personal crossbody. I'm not looking at them for that. I'm not coming to them for that. But this is actually decent. It looks, it feels sort of like a pillowcase if I'm being dead honest. But a, a nice pillowcase. Like if you're staying at a four star hotel, you're most likely sleeping on a Remova um, <laughs> dust bag for a personal crossbody bag. Let me open actually the stripe the straps, stripes, the straps, or just pull them out. I like taking them out like this. I don't know if I'm the only person that does this. You can let me know if you do this as well, but I love the feeling of, oh, oh it's so, mm. <laughs> It sends chills up my spine when I do that. It's so, how do you say, um, satisfying. This is the leather crossbody strap. Um, oh, I'm trying to figure out why it looks like that. It's because it's been like uh, twisted and folded up in the box. But this is, let me strap it every day and all together, you guys, so you can see what it looks like. This is what it looks like with the crossbody strap on. I will try my best to put in mod shots so you guys can see what it looks like on me, adjusted to maybe the lowest, mid, and then the longest. And you open it by just pulling these little buttons here and 
it opens like an accordion style. You have a coin space in the middle. You have an empty pocket on one side and then on the other side, if, yeah, on the other side you have one, two, three um, card, like a card holder with three slots, which you could probably fit like five or six cards in there. Some people can fit more. I would probably put like two or three in there. And then also another empty um, hole on the side. Now I did not know that this bag existed. I only knew about the Dior edition of this bag and I'm pretty sure the Dior edition was in aluminum. And the thing is, I would never, if you have the Dior bag, that's perfectly fine. Dior version of this, like the collaboration, more power to you. But I'm pretty sure it was like 2,400-ish dollars plus. Ain't no way. For me, <laughs> It's not worth that type of money. Maybe it is to you, never in a million years. Fast forward, Remova, a few months or a year later, next the year after they put out that collaboration, they introduced their own version of that bag without the Dior collaboration. And I believe they then introduced the polycarbonate version, not the aluminum version. I do like the aluminum version as well. They have it in like this beautiful quartz pink rose color and it looks amazing. But the reason that I got this color and also in the polycarbonate, I personally like the way that the polycarbonate feels. I like that it's glossy. I like that um, when you ding it up, when you dent it, it's not like the aluminum where the dent actually stays and the like edges can get really harsh and hard. I don't like that. But the main reason is because this matches my uh, cabin suitcase, you guys. And I just thought to myself, especially this year, I have a lot of flights planned. And one thing that I really hate at the airport y'all is when because I a lot of times bring a backpack and a like roller carry-on bag and I don't have a purse with me because it gets to be a little too cumbersome it gets to be a little um how do you say overwhelming for me to keep track of everything and so I keep my passport my wallet and all that good stuff in my backpack but that requires me to take the backpack off to stop <laughs> Um, to dig through everything and find out where I put it because I never put it in a spot that's easily accessible from the zipper on the outside. It's usually all the way at the bottom, zipped up in a compartment, chained to the bottom of the bag. So if someone like sticks their hand and they're not able to just grab anything and it just gets so annoying. Like I said, there's no justification for this because the price point was uh, ridiculous, but it's still cheaper than the Dior version. And like I said, the only difference is that it's out of polycarbonate. It has no Dior like sticker on the back because that's exactly what it is. And also these little um, strap D-ring lobster claw things here, when you don't have the straps on, let me see if I can take it off and show you guys. Um, I'm still getting used to it. I, like I haven't put the straps on. This is the first time I put it on you guys. So please bear with me. But when you put it on, they actually go um, flesh with the uh, like thing that's sticking out. And with the Dior version, I'm pretty sure they were sticking up like this. And this was a maybe design flaw or thing, something that a lot of people complained about. So I find it to be hilarious that first and foremost, I'm almost getting the same bag that they made with Dior, but I'm getting it without the design flaws and I'm getting it for half the price. It holds my phone, holds my AirPods, it holds my passport with a passport cover, it holds my wallet, it holds maybe a chapstick, maybe a mask, a Clorox wipe, and a few other tiny little things. But for me, you don't need more in here. I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing this as a um, everyday casual bag. I don't know if I'm gonna be using it as like a daily bag where I just grab it and go. My intention was not purchasing this bag as an everyday casual crossbody bag. It was literally me just purchasing it to have a travel accessory full Remova set. And this was like not the final piece because it's now the third piece that I've purchased, but it was the final piece that I would get on top of the check-in M. I just haven't been able to find a check-in M in a color that I want that's available for me to purchase because they're all sold out and it's so hard to find these dang um, 
<laughs> these dang suitcases. I ordered it from like a department store. I did not order it from the Remova store because they were A, sold out, but they did have one available at the time of me ordering it from the department store. But the thing is, it would come after I left. And I was like, yeah, that makes no sense because then it's gonna sit in Germany for a few months until I'm back and I'm not gonna be able to use it on my flights that I'm taking right now. And that was the main purpose of this. And so I ordered it from the department store because they had express shipping. I paid like 10 or 20 bucks to have it delivered the next day. But over the years, and I think what really sparked this Remova fire under me, cause it could be any brand you guys, but when I purchased my suitcase, I honestly, like my first cabin bag from the 24S sale, I honestly could not fathom spending so much money on luggage. It wasn't even like in my, how do you say, peripheral vision. Like it wasn't in the front, it wasn't in the peripherals over here. Nowhere in the back of my mind did I think I was gonna spend thousands of bucks on having a Remova luggage set. But here we are <laughs> and we're probably gonna add some more. But I realized when I purchased that, when I used it for the first time, and I've been using it now for about eight flights later, it is so much nicer. I am willing now at my old ripe age <laughs> to just pay for convenience, comfort, and quality. If I can get something, if I can afford it, and I know it's good quality, I know it's gonna last for a long time, it has a warranty, and it checks off all of the boxes that I want, I will most likely bite the bullet. I will not have to purchase any more luggage. Y'all know how many suitcases I have gone through in the past seven years? Uh, tens of suitcases, it is ridiculous. And so at least with these, I have a lifetime warranty so I know that they will roll. They might not be as beautiful as they were or as they are now, but I do know that they will work. And that's like the main thing for me is that I want something to actually function properly. Like I said, getting to that age where I don't mind spending or buying ridiculous things as long as it brings me comfort, it's decent quality, it brings me convenience, and that's exactly what I'm gonna be using this for. And like I said, I also got it because it matched my suitcase and I wanted a set. And I don't think I'm crazy for wanting a set because everyone likes suitcase sets. And this just happens to be a very expensive suitcase set. And so yeah, this is the Remova personal crossbody bag. I don't think it's called the personal crossbody clutch. Maybe it is. You can take these off and wear it as a clutch. I wouldn't do that, but I would take them off and maybe just have this and stick it in my carry-on bag or my backpack if I just wanted um, something in here that I didn't want to break or be exposed to the elements. I could use that also as just like a little carrying case. And so that is what it looks like. <sighs> It's beautiful, I love it. Might be ridiculous, but when I'm comparing it to the Dior version, I got a deal, y'all. And that's all that matters. And that's, like I said, the justification in my head, even though I don't need any. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, you guys. You can let me know if you have heard about this bag, if you would buy it yourself. If not, why not? And yeah, love y'all. Have a wonderful day and bye.